El Conquistador Resort. This is the Morning Blend Out Live. Well, welcome back. We're having a blast out oh here again gosh. today. We're so spoiled. Couldn't be a more gorgeous day. Now, of course, summer and bikes are synonymous. And of course, the best way to truly relax and take it easy is to sometimes just go on a nice long ride. That's right. And speaking of relaxing, all thanks to Pedego Electric Bikes, it has never been easier. And the co-owner and manager of Pedego Electric Bikes, James Lawrenson, is joining us now to show us how you have been so successful and rightfully so. So tell us, what is the buzz about e-bikes well i think people are finally hearing more and more about e-bikes in general and uh how, how much fun they are and really how, how it's getting more people out enjoying bikes again you know from a different population that typically haven't been bikers and it just makes them easier to do that. Sure, and, and you know, as with any industry, there's gonna be competition, but Pedego has earned the top spot in e-bike delivery. So why do you think that is? Well, I think they had a different marketing uh, approach about eight years ago. You know, we're doing something that the industry has never done before, mm -hmm. and that is making the same brand um, bike store. You know, we come into our store, and that's all we have is our own Pedego electric bikes. Right. And the industry back uh, eight years ago said we never last. And so I think what people are are doing now, retail is changing. It's more about experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so all the Pedego stores are giving that extra experience and service to a group of people who aren't used to biking. And, you know, you have to admit it that these e-bikes are a little bit different, you know, so they take a little bit of hand-holding and a little bit of extra work. So For true. someone who hasn't been on an e-bike before, <laughs> what are some of the myths out there? Well, I mean, some of the myths we hear is uh, that you're cheating, you know, and there really is any competition you're just out to have fun mm -hmm. or um, that these bikes are like motorcycles well they absolutely aren't they're just regular bikes with a little bit of help mm -hmm. and um, you know we have a choice with our bikes most of the 14 models have a throttle mm -hmm. which helps people in certain situations so one of the big myths of people not using throttle bikes is that you're just out throttling around the city mm -hmm. and right. that's not the case most people want a good exercise while they're out ha having a good time Mm -hmm. and having fun on the bike. And this just allows them to maybe crest the top of the hill, maybe for safety, get mm -hmm. um, a, a start, a, a, a start from a standing stop using throttle and other ways. And so uh, it's just another choice we give owners on operating their bike. Well, and that's just it. It's choice. And there's really so many good things to talk about with these. And I mean, uh, of course, Tucson has such uh, unique characteristics with the hills. You know, like you're saying, there are some hilly areas. It would be nice to have a little bit of an assist. What uh, separates the Tucson Pedego from all others? Well, each of the Pedego stores, we have um, 85 plus around the U.S., more mm. than 150 worldwide. Wow. We each have our own independent geographical area that we try to leverage for our customers using our bikes. And here in Tucson, as as everyone knows, we're a very, very unique part of the world, not only with the Sonoran Desert, mm -hmm. but uniquely, we've got the mountains here that are providing ways for, uh, we have probably one of the most diverse spots of all the pedicle so stores mm -hmm. to be able to operate a bike, whether it's an e-mountain bike, maybe it's a commuter type bike, maybe it's a bike to be used on the shared use space, the, the loop here in Tucson, or maybe it's uh, just riding around your neighborhood. So we can actually utilize all 14 models of the pedicle bike here in Tucson. There's so many beautiful parts to Tucson. And like True. you said, I mean, it just varies. You can go in your neighborhood. You can just go along the Catalina Mountains. You can go up Mount Lemon. I mean, so it's really a degree, all different <laughs> levels. But there are a lot of people out there who haven't even tried a bike because they think riding in Tucson may be a little bit too challenging. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And so we're starting to get into, now that we're in the 17th month of business here with our Tucson store, of doing guided tours. Mm -hmm. And we even have some people in Tucson that haven't been the Saguaro National Park East, or believe it or not, Sabino Canyon. Mm -hmm. um, so doing some, some of the tours as we get people from out of town into different parts of Tucson, I mean, it is absolutely breathtaking uh, scenery. Yes. But even just local Tucsonans can take advantage of getting into further areas that they hadn't been able to do, whether it be walking mm -hmm. or maybe not riding a bike because of these hilly areas. Right. It really is amazing what a bike like this can unlock. Oh, yeah. And of course, you have these beautiful models models. I mean, I, I walked right up to them and I said, the color scheme is beautiful. The styling mm -hmm. is just
just gorgeous. So talk about the different models that somebody can expect to, to get and to shop for when they go in. Okay, so we're a Southern Cal company. We're, we're out of Fountain Valley, California. So the original bike was a, a comfort cruiser. It's a, it's a cruiser bike for the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we not only have a couple of those models, but now we have commuter type bikes. This black edition is, is uh, my shop ride the last few months. It's great for commuting, uh, as is this mm. step through city commuter. Um, but we also have three off-road bikes, a full suspension mountain bike called Elevate. We've got a hardtail. We've got a fat tire bike. But we have one of the world's only electric tandem bikes, which is really the most oh. fun bike that's in our <laughs> rental fleet. Mm -hmm. We've got a folding bike. Um, you know, so we kind of hit all the areas. So we've always, we've got a model that fits most everyone. And, you know, if you have a 10-year-old, you know, somebody a little bit younger and they really want to go out and experience some of these different adventures that they can go on in Tucson, they can do, you know, the tandem bike with their family or they can do one on their own because they'd be able to keep up with That's the right. adults. That's exactly, right. Heather. Yeah, we do have a 16-year-old limit for our rentals. So dad or mom could be on a tandem bike hmm. in front with uh, their young one in the back. But the racks that you see on the back of our bikes where our batteries are are just ideal for mm -hmm. um, Tuli's um, seats mm -hmm. to go on for a young child or even an infant and uh, we even have a, a child carrier from to, from uh, early that can take a couple of kids. Oh yeah, yeah. have one of we those. Have the tail wagon right? that takes mm -hmm. the Well, there's uh, just... I've I love this, it's, right? It is amazing. It, it, they happen to be beautiful at the same time. I always thought that they would look like this. But for a girl, you know, or a woman, this would be the ideal and choice. And there's a bike for everybody. For this one. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. that, I'm probably going to ride that one. But, yeah, there's a bike for everybody. Let's just sit down with you. Yeah. I actually want to try one of these now because... Okay, the white one. Okay. And, uh, you'll be able to operate it and just... Um, you've got a way to get through it. Just step through it, Alex. And Perfect. It's really easy. Yeah, a lot of people try to step over, right? But this is a step exactly. through. Yeah. Just like that, you hit the little throttle. Bye, guys. That looks like so much fun. Thank you so much, James, for being here today and show us a new experience that all of us can try. Well, the Pedago Shop up on Mount Lemon is opening on Thursday. It will be open five days a week. And also right now, you can get 25% off two-hour rentals through the month of June. If you'd like to find out more information, you can check out PedagoTucson.com or you can call them at 520-441-9782.